Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your Delightful Crafter. As you can see, um, this is going to be an MFT haul. And then um, I got something for my camera. And these are for the new phone that's coming. Uh, we'll get into that later anyway. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around to spell if you like what you see. Please hit that subscribe button. Ding that bell next door if you want to get notifications of my future videos. Thumbs up, likes, always appreciated. And any questions or comments, please leave them down below. So, MFT just had a new release. Um, here are some... I have another order coming from them. Sometimes I do... Um, I like order in batches. Kind of like to break, you know, break the cost up. Because <laughs> we all know crafting is not cheap. Um... So it looks like today it was picked and packed by Nicholas and Angie. And we have a white uh, jelly belly. So I'm hoping, praying this is pineapple. Because, yes. I love pineapple. Flavored just about anything. Um, on the cruise, I was on with the hubby in, what, October, November? The Halloween cruise. So they have a candy shop on all the cruise ships. And I got... I love sour gummy. And uh, I got a pineapple one and a grapefruit one. A pink... Uh, guys, gals, ladies. The pink grapefruit sour gummy thing was the bomb. Then again, I do love pink grapefruit, but... The grapefruit and the pineapple, I think, were my favorite of anything I got. Anywho, let's get back to MFT. Um, this was my freebie. Anybody who um, is familiar with MFT, or if you're not, when you spend $60 with My Favorite Things, uh, you automatically, they, a window pops up, and you get a choice of three items. And I got this one for the little branch. I thought this would be cute to use with some of the owl stamps I've picked up in the past year or so. And then the other order that's coming has the trees. And I couldn't decide which one I wanted. So I have both now. Anyway, so that was a freebie. And it's just called Beautiful Branch. Now this stamp set here, I really debated on. Because, to me, the critters are almost too cutesy. And while I don't, I while I can do cute, yeah, I'm, I'm y'all know, I'm really picky about the images that I, I picked up. This is called Blooming Friendship. And honestly, they all look like they have balloon heads. Even the, even the little chickies. Granted, the little chickies, I think if I drew glasses on it, and, you know, Looney Tunes, there's, what, Foghorn, Leghorn, and that little scientific, you know, smart aleck little chick that has the glasses and the beanie. I can't remember. Does anybody know what his name is? What do you call him? Junior? Or was that uh, the little chicken hawk? The little brown chicken hawk. I can't remember. Anyway. Anywho. You know, I, I broke down and got it because I just thought this was cute. I'm looking at this and I'm thinking that's an Easter egg plant. You get it? You know, little Easter egg, Easter eggs. Anywho, uh, we have thanks for helping me bloom. I thought about you today. You make me smile. I'm rooting for you and our love just grows and grows. A and I'm actually going to say it was the little chicks, the bunnies, and this plant here that kind of, you know, pushed me over the edge to get the set. But I, I, I almost didn't get it. And of course, y'all know I got the dies. The next one. These girls are just so sweet. And ever since I saw them for the first time, y'all know I've picked every one up. And uh, she's called You Make My Heart Race. And I, I have a thing for little, you know, Vespas. A Vespa, you know, the, I think it's what, the Italian scooter? I'll never own one, but I, I just, I love them. 
And then the cat and the dog with their masks on, I just thought was hilarious. And so you can pick and choose who you want on the back of the, the scooter with you. But again, I love these girls because, again, they remind me of Strawberry Shortcake. So hang on, I'm coming for you. And you make my heart race. So there's that one. This one I, I got because y'all know we, uh, we lost Pancake recently. Um, not that I would have used this for myself, but I'm considering making, um, a frame and do I have one out or did I have it packed away? Give me just a second. I'm going to step away and look on my bookshelf and see if I can't find a frame that I've made in the past. Anywho, um, what I like to do is go to Michael's, and that's the only place I actually get them. Go to Michael's, and you know all the different, like, dollar, I guess they call them the dollar baskets, you know, that wall of baskets and stuff. I assume they're still there, because I haven't set foot in a Hobby Lobby in over a year, year and a, maybe even two years. Uh, not Hobby Lobby, Michaels. Anyway, um, they have the wood frames and with the little peg like that you stick in the back and it stands up. Um, I like to get the square ones and sometimes I get the rectangular ones that have the square um, picture cut out. And I, I mod... I Mod Podge, uh, you know, whatever pattern paper, whatever's going to fit what's going on with the picture. And then, uh, you know, I'll do die cuts and add those. I have to figure out where I put my... Because I like to do those when I went to conventions for Close to My Heart. And because, you know, you do roomie exchanges. And so this one was at a Disney... Was this one... This one was Disneyland, I think. Anywho, it was Disneyland, or Disney World. The World of Disney. And, um, so I wrote, I, I, I have the, the Cricut, like, Mickey fonts. I have all the Mickey, the fonts and all those. So I did the Mickey fonts. And I've got Mickey Mouse on there, and um, I put pictures of my friends and I at convention in these frames. And then I just, I don't think they come with acetate, so I put acetate in there as like, you know, the glass. But that's what I like to do with those. One of these days, I'm going to have to try and figure out what box I packed them in and show them. Because they turn out so pretty. Anywho, um... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get one of those frames, you know, um, decorate it for pancake, uh, probably, uh, color these and use these to decorate and, uh, put my picture of pancake in there. Anyway, I'm over the rainbow for you. I would actually need to do two. Well, three. Um, y'all you know, have met El Suave. He passed away two years now. Two, two, I think going on it's two or three years now that he's since he's passed away. And then his sister, Jelly Belly, she passed away quite a few years before him. But those are our pets that we've had since Chris and I got married, the hubs. Anyway, we'll get past this. It's, you know, sad. But this is a really sweet set if you're wanting to 
um, send a condolence to a you know friend or family who's lost a fur child. Uh, granted, this only has the cats. There's no dogs on this one, but you can still use the sentiments and the rainbow and the die. Now, this set was cute, and you know my my great 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 three great grandfather. I believe it's three great grandfather. Might be four. Worked, and I've mentioned this before, it worked on the Eiffel Tower to earn passage for him and us, the family, to come to the United States. And so they, this set is called Travel Buddies. And my favorite ones on here are the beaver, the bunnies taking the selfie, and the Eiffel Tower. And so uh, I snagged this up. We have Life Was Meant for Good Friends and Great Adventures, your going places and you're my favorite travel buddy so there we go and just one more set and we are done with these this is called happy mail and of course y'all know me anything that has to do with postal or anything like that i got a snag and i love how they made this envelope or postcard look like you know the 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 Paravion uh, uh, envelopes that you know we used to get a long time ago, back when people actively wrote letters. So I loved that. Um, I'm loving the bunny on the bike, the postage stamp, absolutely digging it. Sending all my love to you, made with love, especially for you. Happy mail from me to you, and special delivery and sending hugs, kisses, and good wishes. And, and that's that. that. That is my uh, MFT first order for this month. Um, after the next order comes, I probably won't order again maybe until April. So there'll be this one. And the other one I think is going to be here tomorrow. But I'm probably going to hold it off and share with you guys next week on that. Anywho. I'm sorry. I, my, I've... Because the time changed this weekend, I took my medicine early to kind of help me work into next week having to get up early. Er. Anywho, so uh, I thought it was interesting. I told you guys I, I've pre-ordered the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Basically, they combined the, the Galaxy, not the Galaxy, the... Um, the S line and the note line. So they brought the stylus back. Um, I was heartbroken when they discontinued the notes because I've had them since number three. <laughs> and I've had everyone except for the seven and I didn't get the nine. And I didn't get this last one, the 20, I think it was called the 20. I don't know. Because I, I use, this here is a 10 the Note 10 Plus. Anywho, it is my understanding that this new phone that's will doesn't ship till the end of this month, and that's because I chose the rose, or they call it the burgundy color. It looks more like a rose. And then um, I got the the 512 memory. I like to hold on to my phones, so and I do lots of videos and pictures, so I, to me it just made sense to get that. So anyway, the phone, you can't expand the memory. There's no memory slot to expand it. In the past, you could, where your SIM card goes, other phones had a slot for you to stick in a, an additional SD card. The new one that's coming does not. It, it I believe it, it comes with the charging cable, but it does not come with the brick. And it's a 45-watt... It can take a 45 watt charging brick. So I got this one. Um, this is the Spigen Power Arc, and it's USB C to USB C. Uh, there aren't a lot of those out there, but I do have one, and I'm hoping one comes with the phone. But this one charges, yeah. 
um, 45 watts. Or it's supposed to. Anywho, it, I mean, this is, I know, not very exciting for you guys. So if you're going to run away, I, I understand. I apologize. Well, no, I'm not going to apologize because, you know, I'm sharing. I'm just sharing. Oh, snap. This one actually comes with the cable. So there, it looks like it's a three foot cable, maybe. Little info card and the brick. And it's uh, I, what I was looking at said it's not a foldable one, you know, where the songs uh, fold out, but it is. And Spigen is a really good brand. I like Spigen um, and I have a lot of Anchor. I love Anchor. Um, but. I can't, I'm not going to test this out till the phone comes, so we won't see this again, but yeah, it even has a little cable wrap, and I think it's, like I said, it's either, it's a, um, a two foot or three foot cable. Mm. It's a 3.3 .3 foot cable, so for me, that's something I would probably use in my car but anywho really I forgot I ordered this I think what I did is the day I bought the phone or ordered the phone I went and I, I ordered two cases so I don't even remember what this one looks like we're gonna open it up and look and then I realized uh, then I found out about the power the charging thing so I got that And this, I did not get for the screen protector. I got it for the, the case. I have no clue where the screen protector's at. Oh, it's not this screen protector, it's the camera. So it's a funny looking phone. Like I, I think I've mentioned to me, it looks like um, spider eyes. <laughs> but anyway, uh, they're, they are on the body and they are away from the body but there's nothing really around each camera so there are five lenses on there and <clears throat> and this is actually a, uh, a glass protector so it actually goes over the lenses so this one comes with two and I'm gonna test it out because I don't know if it's gonna affect the quality of the camera but, uh, so it came with two of these. It was packed really well. They're in their own little container. And then, um, this isn't Spigen, is it? No, it is all phone. This is. Anywho, um, I like things that sparkle. So it's a clear glittery case. And um, I think it'll be really pretty with the burgundy phone so I can see the pretty color. It's kind of pointless to get a pretty color and then cover it with a case you can't even see it. Um, my phone here is the, the color on it is a holographic or they call it hollow. And so I have a rose gold sparkle case on it, so it makes it really pretty. Anywho, um, that's what this is. And it does, well, how about that? It does come with the screen protector. It's one of those adhesive ones. Um, 
My note 10, and I think the 9 had it, but it, the 10 was the first one I had where it came with this film over the top, but the unpacking specifically tells you to leave it on there. And I had it on my phone for well over two years, almost two, maybe three years. And I only got a few scratches and, and, and then it got to the point where I was like, yeah, I'm just, I just peeled it off. But the Samsung phones have a really like crazy strong, um, glass on the front. So I don't know. I may or may not use that. Then we have, so we have the dust collectors, the wet wipes, more dust collectors, wet wipes, the camera cover, and a squeegee, you know, make sure you don't get any bubbles. And I think, I don't know, I'll probably need to read the directions. You know, reading directions is usually a good thing. I know I'm just kind of just random now, but yep. So that's that's that. I keep tracking, looking every day to see if maybe my phone ships early, but it clearly states that it'll ship between the 29th of March and I think it says the 14th or 15th of April. So it's going to be driving me crazy having to wait that long. But I have a case, I have a charger, I'm ready to go when it gets here. So that's it. I don't think I'll be on tomorrow. Um, I'm going to be cleaning some rugs tomorrow, like dragging out the carpet cleaner and cleaning them. Or not tomorrow, but Saturday. So I'll probably post again Saturday or Sunday, I'm not sure which, but just one video. Um, I'm trying to aim now at a minimum of two videos a week instead of you know my past where you know there were a lot more but i have really slowed down on my craft buying but i was bad today i placed a couple orders with tonic today and honeybee stamps so there's going to be some honeybee coming and some Sonic Studios. I'm, I'm sorry. My like I said, when my stuff starts kicking in, I I really stumble over talking, and then it's like I need the toothpick to hold the eyelids open. And I think I'm coming on to that point. So I'm gonna stop. Lots of random chit chat. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. <laughs> Anywho, um, y'all have a great night. Love you guys to pieces. As always, happy crafting. Bye.